All right, so uh, Karen's brooding the chicks. Uh, they're going to be out here in about two weeks. So I went ahead and picked up some supplies. Um, if anybody's not heard us say, uh, John Sikovich or Siskovich. Um, it's a stress free chicken tractor plans, second edition. Got this off of Amazon. Um, got a parts list or a materials list. He explains some of the theory or the concept uh, behind his design. Um, right, it's got a tools, tools list to get started. Um, here's the materials list right here. And then it's got, you know, how to make your cuts. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty straightforward. So, so went ahead and did some of the prep work. Um, gonna go ahead and offload them here today and we'll start building next week. So we'll know today what we're missing so that we can fill the gaps with materials. And then next week, Karen and I will start putting the tractor together and then putting it out in pasture. So uh, we'll film that as we build it. Uh, we'll share, you know, where we think the book is right on and where, where we think the book needs some clarity um, so that you guys can, can avoid any frustrations that we run into. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and offload. So we're looking at the getting started. Uh, this is the list of tools that are in the book, and then I'll point out a couple things that I've added that I think I'm going to need. So we've got our circular saw, we've got our cordless drill with the bits, we've got our speed square, brand new, still got the sticker on it, we've got your tape measure, right here, stapler and staples, uh, got the wood chisel, plenty of pencils, also brought some. Sharpie, sharpies just in case. I um, I think I need to measure measure the conduit with the sharpie and the uh, the conduit finger itself right here. Right. So a couple of extra things that I brought uh, for snips. So I think I'm gonna need that for the hardware cloth, a hammer as we build those lap joints, uh, being able to punch out. Slivers and then a wrench and some sockets are in the truck. That'll be for the uh, for the lag bolt for the wheels. So. Cuts, first cuts, got them marked for the Sharpie so they're easy to read. And we're going to go on to the last one. See here is the almost finished product. Hopefully, this is the last day. Yesterday I went ahead and pre-cut the uh, hardware cloths. I was just using some of the scrap wood that I had laying around to keep that from rolling up on me. Um, I do want to talk about some of the improvements to the original Siskovich design that made assembling this much easier. And I hope make moving this and maintaining this Take a 
paddle bit and drilled into the 2x4. So the original design um, suggests that you mount the conduit to the outside of this 2x4 and then fasten it in with two screws. So instead, you take a paddle bit and you fit the conduit down into the 2x4. I will still take the two screws and uh, drill in, but I won't have to worry about a second head set of hands or holding the conduit while trying to drill into a uh, into a round surface. It also keeps that edge right there flush. So when I'm mounting that hardware cloth and or the chicken wire, I don't have to worry about fussing with those um, irregular shapes as the as the conduit would normally be. Progress made. I've got one part of the chicken wire secured. That's the front side of the hoop. This is side with the door. The door was highly suggested that you do it last because the frame is going to shift and twist as you move it into place. And once it's in place, um, it was suggested that you remeasure, recut, and then do the door last. The door will also have this uh, hardware cloth and not this chicken. So one person what I did was I put a again scrap piece of 2x4 behind that roll so that it acted kind of as a brace. And I fed the chicken wire up and over. And as I cut it down on this side, secured it with some staples. And then started zip tying from here. Here it is, pre-positioned, ready to go. Here it is inside, looking from the back. Hardware cloth on the bottom. Chicken wire on the top. Chicken wire on the insides through the end caps. Chicken wire did not go over the middle section, but we will zip tie all of these grommets down so nothing can climb up and over. So, we'll build the door. The day that the chicks come out, make sure we account for uh, the contraction and the shrinking of of the uh, of the one by fours. Slap the hinges on, slap the bolt on, throw those chicks in, feed, water, and the chicken tractor venture will begin. And then those ladies over there, the laying hands, will have some at least some uh, on pasture company. So we're a day closer. I'm excited, everybody. Here we go. All right, everybody, final product. Ready for chicks. Got the door put on today. I didn't do those fancy 45s for the reinforcement. I just did a straight two by four. I ran a two by four all the way across just to give another layer of protection for that uh, hardware cloth. Same thing here on the bottom. So nothing should be getting in there. Stapled from the inside. Got the bolts here, rope to move it. Um, on the inside let me show you I'm not really too confident in my lap joints so all I did was I took these timber straps and uh, cinched it across the length of the 2x4 um, braced it into the, the vertical and the horizontal just to keep it in place I got uh, two straps on the uh, front verts uh, I didn't buy enough so I just put straps on the bottom I think the bottom's gonna have the most tension and the most torquing so they're there uh, also ran a third carriage bolt from the inside out so that you can see the two wheels when they're not in use are up off the ground instead of sitting in chicken poop uh, or getting rained on and filled with water I hope to extend the life that was another YouTube uh, tip better view from the inside here how I secured the, uh, the conduit by using a paddle bit 
to drill down into the two by fours. Right, comes all the way through. Much easier if it's a one-man mission. So, and uh, zip ties all across the bottom so that nobody can crawl up and through. Um, this is the only place that's technically uh, unprotected with hardware cloth or chicken wire, but it's in the middle. So they would have to get through the sides here. They would have to get up and over. By the time they did that, I mean, they're they deserve the dinner right but either way so karen will bring chicks out here soon hopefully tonight maybe tomorrow and then i'll start doing daily moves in the morning so we're all we are on our way we got a fresh fresh batch of grass new salad bar for the chicks uh, we'll, sh we'll show you the feed situation and the water situation once all the birds are in here